Hey YouTube, for years now, many of us have wondered why the Democrats in the Hillary campaign weren't called out for colluding with Russia. The very document that started this entire thing, the Steele dossier, was opposition research funded by the Hillary campaign and gathered from Russian sources. This has never been in dispute, so why hasn't the media demanded an investigation into Hillary? To my great shock and surprise, the New York Times actually let it slip that Steele now thinks that the dossier was likely Russian disinformation. If that's the case, then this whole time it's been the media and the Democrats who have been using this information from Russian sources to undo a democratic election. Why am I not surprised that this whole time it's been the Democrats and their media who have been guilty of the very thing that they've been accusing their opposition of? From the New York Times piece, quote, Another possibility, one that Mr. Steele has not ruled out, could be Russian disinformation. That would mean that in addition to carrying out the effective attack on the Clinton campaign, Russian spy masters hedged their bets and placed a few landmines under Mr. Trump's presidency as well. This document has never been verified, and we know that the people behind the investigation knew that the document was unverified, and yet still, we get two years of nonstop drumbeat against Trump with none of this information ever being reported. Are we to believe that Steele just now decided that the document could have been Russian disinformation? Of course not, yet the investigation and the propaganda from the media was allowed to continue. Quote, Mr. Steele emphasized that his report consisted of unverified intelligence. Asked whether he took into account that some of the claims might be Russian fabrications, he replied, yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Where was all this information for the last two years? It's only now that Trump's presidency is effectively destroyed and the investigation ends that we finally get this information. Even after the investigation has ended, the media actually ramps up their insistence that Trump is a Russian agent working for Putin. And all this time, it's actually been the media and the Democrats using information gathered from Russian sources in order to overturn a Democratic election that didn't go the way that they wanted it to. Unfreaking believable! Daniel Hoffman, a former CIA agent, was interviewed for this New York Times piece, and he explained that Russians' goal is to, quote, deepen American divisions and blur the line between truth and falsehoods. If that's the case, the media and the Democrat Party have been doing Putin's work for him. Given all of this, MSNBC and CNN are still acting as Democrat Party surrogates and pushing for impeachment. Do you think the Judiciary Committee should start impeachment hearings? Do you think they're going to move ahead with impeachment? Should we impeach? The Mueller report could be a roadmap. A roadmap. A roadmap. A roadmap. A roadmap. A 10-episode roadmap for impeachment. What wrongdoing? What law-breaking? There's no indictments. What the hell are these people talking about? We now know after this interview that it was actually the Hillary campaign that was colluding with Russians. The media is also part of this collusion, seeing as how they've been using this Russian disinformation to attack Trump and destroy Trump's presidency since day one. Ah, but see, we can never expect CNN or MSNBC to report on this because it would involve incriminating themselves. These partisan hacks don't care about collusion or protecting democracy. They care about money, power, and influence. Pencil Neck Schiff was asked about this and predictably danced and dodged around the question. All a report found that the Steele dossier, which had all kinds of, of information about relationships between President Trump and the Kremlin, that much of that information was either false or impossible to verify. Uh, Chris, you know, the reality is that the Republicans on our committee spent two years investigating exactly that uh, because, frankly, they weren't that interested in what Russia had done, the systemic attack on our democracy. Here we go again with these idiots calling what happened an attack on our country. First off, anybody who calls what happened an attack is a hyperbolic charlatan. We weren't attacked. Russia bought some Facebook ads and organized some rallies for both sides. As if we needed Russia to make people hate Hillary. People have hated Hillary for decades. If anything has been attacking democracy, it's been the media with help from Democrats. And I'm basing this off of their pre-election standard that if Trump challenged election results, it would be an attack on our democracy. On Wednesday night, Donald Trump did something no other presidential nominee has ever done. He refused to say that he would respect the results of this election. Now, make no mistake, by doing that, he is threatening our democracy. Given that we now know that the document was based on Russian disinformation, it is in fact Pencil Neck Shift who is attacking our democracy. The fact is, this entire thing kicked off with a dossier that was based off disinformation from a foreign adversary. 
The media and the Democrats have used this disinformation to challenge election results and, I think, to incite violence against Trump supporters. Let's just hope that Barr is serious about this investigation and the people who actually colluded with Russia are brought to justice. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me further, you can subscribe to me on Patreon or donate to me on PayPal. We also sell t-shirts and we have some brand new designs that you absolutely have to check out. Just head on over to the Drone Tech Politics Teespring store. You can find a link for all of these in the description or in the pinned comment. Thanks.